Welcome back to Supers Live. 50 intense laps here at Sandusky Speedway. NASCAR Heat. Super modified sim racing platform. And a guy that doesn't have a lot of super modified experience wins in about his third or fourth start with Supers and doesn't just win. Uh, pretty much decimates the field. Winning by over two seconds, almost three seconds over defending series champion Rocket Rob Warren. Speedy man, Dave O, congratulations. How good does it feel to get that first Supers win and at a tough track like this? Oh, it feels good. We had a good race going there for a while, those first opening laps. Uh, it was a little more separated than I thought we'd get, though, throughout the race, i got to say. When it came down to the lap traffic at the end of that race, how uh, concerned were you about Rob catching you as you had to weave your way through there very carefully? I was pretty concerned. I was getting through there pretty well until I came up on, I think it was Powell and... I uh, can't remember the other guy's name, sorry. But uh, they were battling, and I lost about a second in just two or three laps. So I really had me worried there, but he kind of got stuck up on the same battle when he was trying to get by. So evened out. Well, Speedy, when when uh, you look at the show here tonight, uh, NASCAR Heat, once again, proving to be a pretty fun game when it was all said and done. Uh, I think we may have been able to use a caution at some point in the backstretch, Joe, because there was some serious chaos going on, but going green to checker in 13 minutes and 40 seconds. Congratulations on your first win with Supers, and, and uh, what a great job out there in the number 11 tonight. Thanks. Thanks again for hosting the race and having us Heat Finder and Mod Squad, guys. Speedy Man, winner of the Supers NASCAR Heat Super Modified Challenge race here tonight, the Terry Gibson Fast 50 at Sandusky Speedway. A man of few words, he does his talking on the racetrack, and he did a great job talking as well uh, by also posting the fastest lap of the race, a 14.397. Rocket Rob Warren comes home in second place, and uh, a quick race. Had to work his way through traffic as well, but uh, coming home in second, keeps the points battle alive. Going into the 100 lapper tomorrow night, Speedy Man is a guaranteed qualifier. Rob is not, but he shouldn't have any issues there. Rob, uh, tell us about that race out there. It looked like uh, you had a challenge at first with Brad Keezer, and then uh, how did Speedy Man get around you? I got to say, we got schooled by the Heat Finder guys. Man. Dave, oh, what a speedy man race he had. Excellent car underneath him. Once he got by me, I just watched that car get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and just drive off into the sunset. Congratulations to speedy man. The heatfinder.net guys, man, I'm so glad they're here. There's, uh, you know, something to be said about racing this old game. Some people might not like it. Some people might love it. But, uh, man, it was a challenge. Uh, this track is a challenge all by itself. You don't have to have other drivers on the track. The track itself is a challenge. So carrying momentum through one and two and getting it woed down so you can make turn three and four. It's, uh, it's a fun track to run. Um, we do pretty well here. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of like, watching Brad's back bumper, trying to, you know, figure out the, the best way around him. And all of a sudden, Speedy Man went around the outside of me, and no one passes on the outside of three and four if they know what they're doing. But, man, Speedy Man stuck it, and that was awesome, just, just to watch what he was doing. I've often said I'm a better uh, spectator of racing than I am a driver, but tonight, you know, I was just like in awe of what he could do with that car. Finding grip there where there was no grip. So, Speedy Man, hats off to you. You kicked our butts tonight, and I can't wait to race against you again. Um, I, on that note, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Cindy Lou Who and Icing's on top. I got the, uh, I got the uh, season's championship gift there uh, yesterday. You know, a, a wicked cool gift, man. Icing's on top, next level for uh, for prizes. What what a fantastic gift. Thank you, Cindy. Um, for uh, Breeze Graphics, for all the work he's doing. And, of course, you, Bob, for, for all the work you're putting in, trying to make a good broadcast in the face of impending doom. 
every week it's like a new new surprise there's uh never enough surprises when you go racing at supers.net Ryan Rod Warren, your second place finisher tonight, uh, doing a good job keeping uh, keeping the points going and keeping everything alive. Did a great job. Uh, let's talk to a couple of guys that struggled out there, including the guy that's sitting in second place. Uh, Keith, put one on your pile, and Rick Walls. Uh, Rick, if you could just walk us through what happened on the backstretch. Had a pretty good race going, and then ended up stuck against the backstretch wall, and then total chaos in your virtual super modified with Keith Powell and uh, Steve Callahan. What happened out there? Talk did I uh come out of the turn there it was just a little bit too wide, clipped the wall and it spun me around. Figured I'd just stay up against the wall until after everybody went by, but they got me anyway. Well it, it, when it was all said and done, uh Pretty, pretty intense race out there. You were in traffic a lot of the race. Uh, had a good race car to start out with. Had some good battles back and forth. Uh, after running the 50 laps here tonight, uh, are you going to be able to make the 100 lapper? And uh, did you learn anything from this one? Uh, it was a pretty quick jaunt out there tonight. Uh, yeah, I plan on making the 100 lap. Um, the one thing I learned tonight is to stay away from that wall. <laughs> Oh, Rick Walls, the uh, name is appropriate apparently here tonight at Sandusky. Thanks for being here, man. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Oh, thanks for having us. It was a great race, great group of guys to race with. Hey, well, let's talk to the guy that really come up on the short end of the stick there uh, in that incident on the back stretch. Keith, just walk us through. You you had a, a battle going on with your teammate, Steve Callahan, uh, running easily in third, uh, not too far back uh, anything could have happened in lap traffic but it happened to you what what did you see and uh, other than a car sitting in front of you did did you have any time to react at all yeah that's all i seen is a white car blend into the white wall in the back straightaway um yeah i had a I had a good race going uh first off dave um what what a fun guy to race with uh i guess he uh the lack of experience at this track actually helped him because he went flying around the outside turn one, two, and everybody was trying to kind of get in line and duck low. And, uh, I don't know, it was like lap five and we kind of got bottled up and he went around the outside and just took off. So hats off to him and congrats to him. Uh, congrats to Rob too. Uh, he had a good fight, I know, with uh, Brad for a little while, and then he kind of walked away from me and Brad there. Um, but finally got up in the third, didn't have the best starting spot in, in six, especially in this game. You don't want to start six. But I uh, had a pretty good race going. Didn't have a scratch on the car, actually. Uh, Brad started to push. It started to fall back. Um, I was following Rob there for a little while. And he got by uh, Brad, and then right at the spot where I thought Brad would push, um, he just slipped a little too much. I just blasted him in the back and uh, tore up the front nose wing. Uh, as we kind of settled in after that, I finally got by him, and I was sitting in third. Rob, Dave was gone, and, and Rob, he just maintained a two-second uh, gap between me and him. And I was kind of just content in third. I had a lap car ahead of me, and I was kind of concentrating on a lap car. And uh, my teammate, you know, he's really good here. And he came from like a second and a half back to just about four tenths back behind me. And that's right when we come up on that car sitting on the back straightaway. And uh, I seen the lap car dive. And for a split second, I wasn't sure why. And just as I was turning, I, I clipped that lap car. So, uh, I mean, hey, you know, it's kind of like a high miler format. And we are definitely snake bit at the high miler and CPR snake bit at uh, this Terry Gibson Memorial. But uh, we still loving this race. You know, it's one of the one of the ones we really want to win. Uh, we grew up here at Sandusky, grew up around the Gibsons. Um, and what a great racing family that is from Ohio. I mean, we can really be proud that, uh, you know, we had that Gibson family here in Ohio. And um, between the Supers and the Midgets and the Sten and Indy, uh, it's just a great family. And, and 
really cool be around uh at the track in the pits uh after the races they're just uh a really really good great family there so i'm glad we could put this race on you know in their name and uh hey anyway, hopefully the bad luck is done tonight and we can go get them tomorrow we'll be looking forward to seeing the 41 mayfield missile out there in competition tomorrow night for that 100 lapper it'd be a big win for you and uh, a big points night for you but uh glad everything uh, is virtual and uh, you came out okay man because <laughs> that was wild <laughs> Yeah, we don't have to stay up all night in the pits rebuilding the car like we've had to do uh, on a few occasions on the High Miler weekend. So, <laughs> yeah, for sure, it's a tough one out there uh, in, in the real world when you got to do that after you wreck a race car on a Friday night at Sandusky. Keith Powell, ladies and gentlemen, still uh, keeping a smile on his face after uh, uh, hitting. Got sucked up behind him and onto him, and uh, Keith was a victim of that. But uh, we're going to wrap things up tonight. We want to remind you, coming up tomorrow night, we've got the Terry Gibson Memorial 100 lapper here. If you thought 50 laps was crazy, wait till you see 100 here. Uh, expect another good field, competitive field of cars, and uh, hope that you can join us. Live broadcast starts at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you're following us, or if you're not following us on Twitch, if you don't have a Twitch account, but you're just watching us, sign up for Twitch, and then hit that follow button. Help us hit affiliate status. Thanks to everybody for tuning in here tonight. You want to learn more about racing your own virtual Super Modified online and uh, be a part of one of the oldest super or sim racing sanctions in the country. Not just Super Modified Racing, but sim racing period. Been around for 15 years. Uh, kind of unheard of. But uh, go to Excuse me, go to supers.net, click the About tab, and you can learn why this isn't your normal or regular gaming league or sim racing sanction or league, and learn a little bit more about us. If you like it, you can go to the Dion Parish Memorial Benevolent Fund for Super Modifieds page, make a donation, and you can become a Supers member and go for the gold, just like Dave O did here tonight. Speedy Man, your winner at Sandusky after 50 laps. Fast lap of the race at 14397. Congratulations to him. Rob Warren, Bob Gang, were your top three. Join us tomorrow night on Supers Live for the Terry Gibson Memorial 100 from Sandusky Speedway. Until then, keep a wing side up and wheels to the ground. Someone you love And if you're going through it I say do it with someone you love I've been around a long time In and in and out of love But if you're gonna do it I say do it with someone you love